We have the whole DNA, the whole instructions, a recipe for bringing thylacines back to life, and it's waiting in those two very precious specimens. In its prime, the Tasmanian tiger, in reality a marsupial wolf, feasted on sheep introduced by settlers and was hunted as a pest to extinction. Only the preservation of cubs in 1866 offers hope of a revival. If they are ever going to you know, bring the thylacine back to life, then they'll have to use a specimen such as this one. It's a long shot though. So far only cells taken from living creatures have been viable building blocks for recreating life through cloning. But these researchers aren't discouraged. In less than 50 years, I would suspect that by that time we'll be able to go into pet shops and buy a thylacine and walk proudly home with the thing on a leash. So while the thylacine may be gone for now, it's not necessarily as dead as a dodo. Peter Simmons, BBC News. Just dreading the thought it's of... It's a dead spit. Absolutely. Dead... I, I knew she was going to say that, and I thought, I bet she gets in before Especially me. Especially the way it winked at the end there. It's just you all over, David. You're the most you. Absolutely. You like I beg wink. your pardon. You like um, absolutely. Yeah, what's, what's the weather like then? Come on, get your. <laughs>